Secretary of State Steve Simon is pressing lawmakers for changes to voter registration in Minnesota that he says will get more people involved in the process. John Croman joins us live from the Capitol with details on what's being proposed. John? Hey, Julie, most of the things that Simon is pitching, including automatic voter registration, are law already in at least 20 other states, but he's never been able to get Capitol Republicans to get on board. Well, now with single party control here, he has more hope it will happen. If Minnesotans who get driver's licenses were automatically registered to vote at the same time, it would add 450,000 voters to the system, according to Secretary of State Steve Simon. It's a good way to get people in the system, so it expands access. A lot of people uh, would be registered who otherwise might not take all the steps that are needed, as easy as it is. Simon's putting automatic voter registration at the top of his wish list at the state capitol. Second, making sure that people serving time for felonies regain their eligibility to vote as soon as they're released. This particular bill is a reinvestment in the humanization of people we haven't always looked at as human. Currently, felons can't vote until they finish probation. Every single year, while I'm helping to drive thousands to the poll, I'm not able to hold up that little red sticker that says, I voted. The wish list also includes civil and criminal penalties for those who interfere with voting or threaten election workers. Every statewide election takes nearly 30,000 Minnesotans to serve in their communities. They are my colleagues, my team members, my friends, and they are me. Simon also wants to enable 16 and 17 year olds to pre-register. By allowing teens to pre-register to vote, we have the opportunity to get more eligible Minnesotans involved in democracy while they are still in school. In the past, these ideas couldn't get any traction with Republican yeah, Elections I Committee think. Chair Mary uh, Kiffmeyer, a former Secretary of State. She is now retired, and Democrats control the Senate. These are widely accepted, widely adopted policies. Now, Steve Simon predicts that if we go to automatic voter registration in this state, it will drastically cut down on the number of people who register on Election Day because their names would already be on the voter rolls when they show up at their polling places. Back to you. All right. Thanks, John.